Hey, 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 and welcome back to Nita's channel. Once again, I want to thank all of my subscribers, the ones that have subscribed to my channel, the ones that haven't subscribed to my channel. Like I say, don't be shy. Just hit that subscription button. Now, here on Nita's channel, like I say, it's all about godly, godly words, inspirational words. You're going to hear some little personal stuff and fun things as well. But this page is strictly positive. This channel is strictly positive. It's strictly positive and it's things that we go through in our day-to-day -day life things that we go through and so forth everyone deserves an encouraging word every now and again and sometimes persons don't have access to good people that can actually mend their spirit with some positive words but tonight we're going to talk about love we're going to talk about love tonight and we're going to talk about loving somebody or how do you know that you're actually in love or how do you know that you truly love someone or if someone is actually the one that the lord god intended for you to have now, when we talk about love, a lot of people say, oh, they're in love. They're in love. You know? They're in love. And what's the reason behind your love? Yes, you can love somebody because you're seeing them every day or almost every day. Okay? And that brings people closer. You know? You're seeing someone on a day to day basis. So you're going to grow. You're going to grow into that habit of loving them once in a relationship yes you're gonna get to that stage of loving them because you're around them on a day-to-day -day basic but is that really the main reason to say okay you're in love it's more than that being in love with someone or knowing that you really love someone isn't just about how often you see them and it's a trend that is going on in society today. You hear most people be like, oh, child, if you ain't seeing him on the regular, somebody else seeing him. Love is basically all about to maturity. And you got to trust somebody. You can't be taking words from outsiders, from persons on the outside looking in. When you love someone, it's basically you and that person you and that person and it's so much it's so much it's so much deeper than just seeing someone on the regular no seeing someone on the regular doesn't mean that you love them or doesn't mean that that's real love what happens when you can't see them on the regular hmm? What happens when you can't see them on a the regular? What happens when they have to work, they have to travel on business trip or what's not, and you can't see them as often as you used to? You have some person, when they can't see their significant other on the regular, some of them begins to destroy you have some of them that have side side relationships that they end up getting themselves involved in. So then you don't call that love. Because you can't see your partner on the regular. What happens then? So the love that you have for them begins to appreciate because now you're putting your time into somebody else. But let's stay focused. Let's stay focused on the fact of how do you know? when you actually love someone let me tell you guys something and you can feel free to drop your views inside the comment but let me tell you something just as god created his son jesus christ and it's something how it's something how he chose mary mary was a virgin she was a virgin and in god God implanted Jesus with inside of our body. And if you look in the natural form, it in the natural 
He who ain't see nobody can see if, at least not to my knowledge, can see if, like how God did it to Jesus. Jesus was his chosen vessel, his chosen child, special. That was perfect. None of us are perfect. But he made his son, Jesus Christ, perfect. He came into the world to die for our sins, for our sins that we may have life and have it more abundantly. So when you want to know about love and if you truly love somebody you got to take it back to the biblical facts you got to take it back to biblical facts let me tell you something you got to mature up and you got to take these things back to the bible take it back we all have been in relationships when we have said we are in love but let's get to the fact because when you actually know you literally in love or when god has blessed you with that one and that you're truly truly in love being in love with someone because you see them on a daily basis that's not love because there's gonna be times when you're not going to see that person on the regular but at the end of the day you must still love them if you do you understand loving somebody Loving somebody and truly loving somebody means you're going to love them in spite of their past, in spite of persons, the same as in the Bible. It doesn't matter what we've been through, God still loves us. It doesn't matter what we've been through, God still loves us. It doesn't matter who go before God and be like, okay, God, she has all of these all of these things inside her past she's not holy enough come on somebody god came he came for the sinners and his word decree and declare that we have all have sinned and fall short of god's glory we have all sinned and fall short of god's glory so let me tell you something let me share my view of how you would know you truly love somebody when you're not around that person on a daily basis, you can go days, weeks, months without seeing this person, but your love for them will not depreciate. Instead, your love for them will grow, 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 grow. You understand? We have never seen God, nor have we seen Jesus, but each and every day, because we know, hallelujah, where our help coming from, we trust in Him. We trust in him and because we know that he is our provider he is our way maker we trust in him no matter what the same within your relationship within your love life it doesn't matter how long your partner may be away from you it doesn't matter how long your partner may be away from you your love will not depreciate your love will not depreciate instead every day you will indeed love that person more and more more and more you would not stop whatever it is that you used to do whether you text them on the regular you will continue to do those things truly loving someone you love them true their flaws it doesn't matter what they may have been through you love them in spite of what they went through and it doesn't matter how many person comes towards you with all type of faults against them at the end of the day when you love someone you shun the devil you shun the devil and you cut out any sources that is trying to hinder Hinder your deliverance, hinder your blessings, and the same thing within your love life. You cancel out people that are coming into your space, into your space trying to tear down, tear down the love you have for your partner. Let me tell you something. One, when you love someone, it doesn't matter what you hear about them because everyone been through a storm. Nobody on this earth is perfect. When you truly love somebody, it doesn't matter what they may have been through. It doesn't matter what they may have been through. In spite of what they've been through, you love them even more. Even more. When you love someone on a daily basis, you tell them how much they mean to you. And how much you love them and how much you care for them. When you love someone... 
when you love someone truly you give it your all you give it your all when you love someone you give it your all 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 just like how we cannot live without God some persons they live their life and they don't put God first inside their life yeah that's that but at the end of the day when I say you cannot live without God because he's the source he is our source of everything that we need of everything that we need and let me tell you something when the Lord has touched your life you feel it you feel the difference of where he has brought you from and it's the same thing when you're in love and when you know that it is that person is the person that the Lord has blessed you with come on you gonna treat them more 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 than royalty you gonna go before God on a daily basis and you gonna tell God Lord I am so thankful for you placing this person inside my life Lord I am so thankful for you placing this person inside my life on a daily basis you gonna do it you gonna give God thanks for placing that person in your life on a daily basis and every time that you pray, you're going to include them inside your prayer. Every time that you pray, you're going to include them inside your prayer. And you're going to pray to God, hallelujah, to cover them, guide them, protect them in the mighty name of Jesus. You're going to ask the favor of God to go with them. When you love someone, their happiness becomes your happiness. Their sadness becomes your sadness. When you love someone in spite of them being away from you, the love that you have for them is going to grow each and every day. It's going to grow. It's going to grow. It's going to grow and it's going to grow. Come on. And just as we have a jealous God, it is fine to be jealous. It is fine to be jealous. We have a jealous God and it is fine to be jealous and when i say jealous not of people but whatever the lord has blessed you with it is yours it is yours it is yours when you truly love someone come on it's more than just this natural situation with everyone trending 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 talking about oh oh um you ain't got your movie on the side of you come on play play season is over movie 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 no one is talking about no movie this is a real life situation yes you cannot be caught up inside this worldly this worldly trend everyone but if you ain't got your movie pack up on the side of you it ain't so let me tell you guys something don't be caught up inside the things of the world because the things of the world is gonna cost you you understand god didn't bless us with no movie he blessed us with with flesh of our flesh two flesh shall become one not a flesh and a movie no 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 you gotta understand when you truly love someone the things and the trend of the world wouldn't matter the things and the trend of the world wouldn't matter it's because of a, a lot of these things and trends of the world it's costing a lot of homes a lot of homes a lot of marriage and so forth that's why when you truly love someone it doesn't matter what is going on in this world instead you go before god you go before God and you thank Him on a day-to-day -day basis. When you know you truly love someone, like I said, their happiness becomes your happiness. When they're sad, your sad. You understand? Waking up in the morning, you give God thanks. You give God thanks for your life and you give God thanks for their life and you give God thanks for the lives of their family and the lives of their children. When you truly love somebody, you put your all into them. You know why? Because God loves us. 
And just as he wants us to put his own into him, come on somebody, when you truly love some, someone, you're going to be a reflection of God in their life. A reflection of God in their life. And it don't matter what hindrance come your way. You gonna fight for the ones that you love. When I say fight for the ones you love. You won't give up on them. You will not give up on them. And then what I tell you. When you truly. Yes. And when you truly love someone. No one else is gonna be more important. To you. Than them. Besides God, when you truly love someone, when you truly love someone, the effect that they have upon your life bring peace, bring an ease to your life. And when they touch your body, you can feel the glory of God. You ever had somebody touch you, and I'm not talking about in an intimate way. You ever had somebody touch you? Hallelujah. You ever had somebody touch you and you felt a peace deep down in your soul that you hadn't felt all your life? Let me tell you, when the Lord placed someone inside your life, they go, the person that he has blessed you with is going to transform you and transform your mind in a totally different way. The way that you see things. It's going to be in a different way. Nothing you would want to do without including them inside of it. Nothing you would want to do without including them inside of it. Material things would not matter. Because the one that you love is what's important. And you got to understand that the trend of this world, everyone is looking for something, for something. And think of love is what your partner give you or if your partner ain't giving you this or the next it's not love trust you somebody let me tell you something once you serve the almighty god you shall have no lack and you should not go into a relationship looking for this or looking for the next but let me tell you something once the lord is the head of your life it doesn't matter what situation you may be in you and your partner hallelujah jesus you and your partner would have no differences sharing whatever it is that you guys have you would not have no differences and it would not be one looking for this and the next one looking for the next no nope. when you truly love somebody when you truly love somebody material things don't matter whatever it is that you have it becomes you and theirs whatever it is that you have it becomes you and theirs if it is your last, if it is your last, you would take it and give it to the one that you love. When you truly love someone, it is past the natural eye. It is past the natural eye. Once you truly love someone, it's past the natural eyes. It's not about looks no more. It's not about nothing on the outside no more. But is it? But it's about the person that God has created them to be it is about the person that God has created them to be let me tell you guys something we are being real we are being honest we are being real we are being honest like I say I thank God so much for the man that he placed inside my life I thank God I thank God so much for the man that he have blessed me with, it doesn't matter what people may try to say about him. At the end of the day, I love him daily. I love him daily. There's nothing I would not do in the natural for him once I am able and capable to do. And the Lord knows that I go before him on a daily basis and I pray. And I ask the Lord to cover him and I plead the anointing of God over him from the crown of his head to the very sole of his feet. Let me tell you something. When you love someone so much and so daily and when you love someone and you know that they are sent from God, you're going to go before God on a day-to-day -day basis and you're going to make sure that the hand of God is upon him them and the hand of God is covering them let me tell you something in this season in this season if you don't have a strong connection with God over the one that you're in a relationship with that you said that you love it is not God it is not 
It's not God and it's not real love. Real love, you're going to take it before your king. Whatever the Lord has blessed you with, you're going to give God thanks for it. Because if the Lord did not bless you with it, you're not going to give God thanks for it. And it's not going to last long. When you are in a relationship and loving someone for the things in the natural, it will never last. It will never last. It will never last. When you begin to love someone for who God has destined them to be, for every inch of their body that God has created them with, you are in love with it and there is nothing that you would want to change. 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 And there is nothing, nothing that you would want to change about the person that you're in love with. Let me tell you something. When you truly love somebody, nobody else inside this world could ever get your attention. When you truly love somebody, nobody else in this world will be able to have your attention that's when you know and when i say nobody else in this world will have your attention it's not that type of love when you don't want to separate yourself from somebody because you don't want somebody else to have that person or you don't want to separate yourself from this person because of what they're doing for you or what you getting from them or you don't want to separate yourself from this person because oh the making love or whatever is so good no it's not none of that is when you don't want to separate yourself because you know that the man that the Lord has blessed you with, God has designed them just for you. Because there is somebody out there that the Lord has designed just for you. Just for you. And I thank God because I've been searching. I remember. I remember praying to God and I said, Lord, there has to be. There has to be. There has to be someone out there. There has to be something out there. There has to be someone out there. But when a man truly loves a woman, and this me, this me speaking to God, speaking to God, this me speaking to God, and I said, Lord, there gotta be, there gotta be some real love out there. When a man truly loves, when a man truly loves a woman, when a man truly loves a woman, and I'm on the bathroom floor and I'm crying, I'm like, Lord, this is not it. This is not it. And this was me. This was me in a relationship. In a relationship. And I'm speaking good. This was me in a relationship with my child's father. I was not. It was not. You know, things started out, and that's like I said, you're in a relationship with someone, and you're living with someone, and you're being like, okay, you're loving them, you're loving them. But what if you're in a relationship? And you're not on the person on a day-to-day -day basis and you can't see them let me tell you come on when the lord bless you with that somebody it doesn't matter where they may be how far they may be from you the connection will still be strong and the love will still be grow like i tell you i was in the bathroom i said lord they gotta be it they gotta be there gotta be someone out there and when a man truly loves a woman, you gonna know when the Lord, because let me tell you something, once you're a child of God and once you're chosen by God, God don't come half-stepping, God don't come half-stepping. I remember this guy, he wouldn't give up, he wouldn't give up on me and I had my young child and I was like, if this man one day, he wanted to take me out and I had nobody to watch my kid, had nobody to watch my son. And he was so determined. He took my son with me. And I'm like, Jesus, he took my son with me. And this was at night. And this was at night. This was at night. And I said, let me tell you something. When you know the Lord has blessed you with something, let me tell you something. No devil in hell can block what God has for you. What God has for you, no devil in hell can block. And you got to understand that whatever it is that the Lord has for you, you're going to know. You're going to know. You're going to know. Because God miracles his sign and his wonders going to follow. And let me tell you something. It is real. But then these little old fake movie 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 talks and these trend 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 everyone trending 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 they ain't real they ain't find the real love yet you gonna know when the lord has blessed you with that someone you gonna know and the devil is gonna try so many things to try to break you try to break you and pull you apart but you gotta understand that god that god never fails he never fails so on tonight, as we're talking about love and loving relationship, I want you, God, want you all to take in, take in 
taken and everyone has their outcome but trust you me when you truly love somebody trust you these signs will follow these signs will follow trust you me these signs will follow and you're gonna pray for your mate on a day-to-day -day basis come on and you're not gonna be worried about the trends of this world or what someone have to say or what people may think trust you me you gonna know you gonna know once again i want to thank everyone everyone that have subscribed to Nita's channel like i say everything here is real everything here is supportive everything here is to fulfill you and to give you that stability that stability and that encouragement that you're not here alone you have someone here that's gonna give you some words of encouragement you have someone here that's gonna guide you in the godly manner yes i'm still in that learning process so my godly walk with god but let me tell you something once you come underneath this channel you're gonna always leave with something you're always gonna leave with uplifting spirit trust you me and i want to thank god for all of you that are subscribed and the ones that haven't subscribed that's about to subscribe once again i want to thank you guys for watching me this channel and have a lovely night